Now the new Doom game comes out this Friday, Doom Eternal, and I'm pumped. I ended up picking up this Doom guy figure and I want to weather him and add a little more character to him. Maybe make a custom base and have a fun art project with it. Now I have always been a big Doom fan. I played it back on the Sega 32X and of course the computer port. And then when it got ported to new consoles, I picked it up on PS4 and actually started streaming playing this game. So I'm excited to get back into it. So first things first, here's the package here. Doom Slayer has a little bit of artwork on the side there. Great picture in the back, a little bit of fire going on in the background and the great Doom logo. And that's about it. Let's open this bad boy up. Looks like there is a stand in here. Now it looks like it comes with two weapons. Got a shotgun here. Really awesome. And then this was a little attachment that went on his gauntlet when he would do the glory kills in the game. All right, so here's the figure itself. That is him all set up with all his gear. He's got a little gun over here that you can move and manipulate. As far as articulation, he's got a little bit of movement right there at the elbow. Not too much in and out. And his legs do bend at the knee. All really nice joints right there, I would say, so that stays at whatever position you move it there. His uh, ankles got a little bit of movement. He's got a lot of armor on though but this can definitely help pose. And then on the bottom, he does have the two feet posts that would go into the stand to kind of help balance him in case you wanted that extra base right there, like so. So yeah, that's the figure there. He looks a little too clean to be a <laughs> doom guy. He should be covered in blood and guts and demon debris and dirt and all that. So we're gonna do that with some craft paints. I got a bunch of just acrylic craft paints here you would get at the craft store. They're like a dollar a piece. Reds, browns, greens. I got some glow in the dark paint, which might be cool as well. And some metallic paints with silver and gold. And we'll also be using some maybe hot glue and spray adhesive. We're gonna get crazy with this build and make it fun. All right, one thing I would like to do is add some scratches all over the armor. He's been fighting demons and all that. So he's gotta be scratched up and beat up and the armor can't be perfect. So I'm just gonna use an X-Acto knife and score a bunch of stuff around him and on the armor itself. Another fun tool is a sandpaper different various grits of sandpaper and you can kind of get that weather looked on his armor there with scratches and roughed up marks. Now to be fair they definitely did some weathering on him and you can see a lot of highlights here with the silvers on his armor but I kind of want a more darker um, essentially weathering on it. So we're gonna be using the blacks and you know, we want some maybe blood splatter on there too to really mess up that armor there. So we're gonna try that now. So we'll start with a black wash and we're just using some regular black acrylic paint. which I'm just gonna add into my cup. And then a little bit of water. Let's mix it up. Brush it all over him. Basically, we're trying to get into those cracks and crevices. And we'll wipe off what we don't want on there and kind of dial it back. And then you can take your rag and just dial it back like so. And it's basically a process of going back and forth. Taking some off and then going back and layering some on again. I'm gonna try a little bit of this glow-in-the-dark paint here. 
Not sure how well it's going to show up, but he figured, you know, some of the demons got green blood, right? So if he's under a black light or some sorts. Oh yeah, yeah, that pops good. That nice contrasting color. All right, we'll get a little bit of the, the fun part in here is adding the, the red, the blood red, and we're just gonna flick it on him, essentially as if he shot a demon right in the face and all their guts blew up right on him. Just get that blood splatter in there. <laughs> so he's definitely looking already a little bit more beat up and uh, <laughs> doom appropriate, I would say. And again, it's all kind of about the layers. You got a little bit of the blood splatter on there. I'll add a little bit of more of the black on top of that. So it all starts to kind of mesh and blend together and you get this nice, like on his arm here where you can see maybe some of the blood is more dried and stuff like that. And to help with some of the drying time of the paint, you could hit it with a hair dryer or in this case, a heat gun. All right, he's looking pretty awesome, I would say right now. I'm gonna try a technique, we'll see if it works. I do have my glue gun here, and I thought it'd be cool if we can get some glue dripping from his blade here and have it um, kind of harden, and then we can paint it red, so almost as if it's uh, blood dripping off of it. So there it is. Looks pretty neat, just hanging there with the blood. A little bit there. Adds that little extra realism and detail to it. I like it. Okay, now that we have the figure all kind of painted to where we want it with the weathering technique, the next step is to build a base. And I got some just regular wood right here. And I want to kind of size up how much of a base we need. Now I want him kind of standing on a rocky ground that would be in hell. So I don't need it quite this long but we can cut it, we can either go like a straight line across and then build off of that or kind of go jag it as a rock structure would be. Either way would work. All right, we're back. I cut the piece down to a more manageable length and I cut two side pieces to maybe stack. I'm thinking maybe put it on the side, something like that and you can have him kind of stepping on that. Maybe we can have it. And I do have some pieces of scrap foam, so you can always take parts of that. Stepping on the foam block here or something like that. Something in similar to that there, but we'll make this all rocky and put together and we can kind of mold the base here into the full structure. All right, did go back and cut that back piece up into a couple different ones so it wasn't one full block. So I can kind of think in something like that. We probably won't even need that extra piece there, but we'll use some uh, original wood glue here just to adhere all the wood pieces to it. And we can also tack it down quicker with some hot glue, but the wood glue is more for longevity. And then we can glue down this foam piece and base.
And then we can add different pieces of foam on it to give it that rock structure. Now this is Kaizen foam, so it's separated into layers, so it's easy to pull apart different layers of it so you can get different size textures. All right, so here is the base. Currently, I got a bunch of foam glued down on top of it, looking like rock structures here. And I'm just gonna add a bunch of the hot glue to kind of extra secure the foam down, but then also kind of act as, again, could be like blood or other rubble. And then we're gonna get onto painting and blending this so it just doesn't look like a hot mess of glue and foam. <laughs> And to help with that stone transformation, I love these paints here. They are a stone texture that Valspar puts out. Um, doesn't matter what color you get, they do have like a gray and like a tan, but we're gonna be painting the whole object anyway, so it doesn't matter, so. All right, so here's the base all painted and dried. We have the stone texture paint that we put on it, and now we're just gonna add some more acrylic paint to it to give it more depth. We gotta add some, some blacks and browns, again, with the blood splatter and all that, just to make it come to life a little bit more. And again, this is all about layering, essentially waiting for other colors to dry and then going back over it, adding different colors, a darker shade of gray, maybe some more browns, and then going back with this black wash in there too. Use your towel to kind of take it back some. But you start getting that structure there where it looks more like a rock. And then once we get a nice base coat of that, we'll go back and add some blood, maybe some of that green glow-in-the-dark paint too. All right, so here is the base with all the bunch of colors on it. Really adds that natural look with all the stone work here. And I tried to do some browns to mimic dirt and a little bit of red. I used a really dark red. It's called real <laughs> red, but now we're going to add some blood splatter. I'm going to use a little brighter blood All right, guys, the base is done. This is the finished product here. Some other things I did end up doing is getting a spray adhesive and spraying on the base and then actually using dirt and stuff from the actual ground outside to give it that more realistic look. And then when that was all dried up, I used a crystal clear enamel clear coat from Rust-Oleum. Just did one coat on it and that just makes the base a little bit more like wet in some spots and the foam kind of absorbed it here and there. Some of it looks more dry, but I think it adds a nice touch and seals everything together. So last thing we need to do is just add the figure and we're done. All right guys, well I hope you really enjoyed the makeover of the Doom Slayer here and really enjoyed the outcome. So hit the thumbs up button if you did so. I'm super excited to get back into Doom playing it and of course streaming it. So make sure you're following me on here so you guys don't miss when I go live. And if you enjoy these DIY projects, there are plenty more on the channel. So consider subscribing so you don't miss any more. 
And as always gamers, I'm Russ Lyman and keep your world fun bit by bit. I'll see you next video. And I want to give a super shout out to all my Patreon supporters, Dan Buchanan, Joey Ellis, George Sandoval, Joseph Riviera, Nintendo, Joe Shivi, David Apuzo, Maynard, Brian Culpepper, TechWizX, Matthew Hannigan, Alex Kaz, Ian Oshi, Amanda Bartlett, Gannon Man, and all my Patreon supporters. Link below if you want to join, and I'll see you later. Bye.